Metabox. Hello, everybody. Good seeing you again. Welcome back to the original Resident Evil. Uh, remember from last time, we got this cool save room. Really close to the end of the game here. This may be the last episode, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure yet. Um, I'm gonna take a risk and put these away. But yeah, I'll keep the ammo disc on me because I know I'm probably gonna need that. So we just got into this other room last time. We just got into this side room. Um, powerhouse, basement three. Bam! That looks like it's locked as a mother. There's a switch, will you push it? There's no reaction to the power. It has no power. Okay. No power, Captain. Power room? Power room. Let's go in here. Oh, it's loud. Oh, shit. What the mother? Forgot about those. Forgot about those. Damn, what the shit? It's like I didn't even hit him. I don't remember what those things are. God, they're... Ugh. There's another one. Oh, I'm out of... There, that one's dead. Ah, there's the other... Passcode 003, Genesis quote. File that away. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Scared the shit out of me. So, can I do anything with that green light? Green light, green light, green light, no. Oh, mother of god balls. Maggots fly out of it and shit. I don't like that. Okay, here's another door. Everything's so loud. I don't remember most of this. Hey, there's a computer. Can I use the computer? Oh, shit. Really? Is it... Can I do anything with that? No. The triggering system activated. It's quite big. It's a triggering system. No. Okay. How do I trigger it? I want to trigger. That's the thing with like these older games. Okay, so well, what the shit? I feel like that's gotta be something. There we go. Power connects switch to the elevator. Power is up. We press it. Yes. Power isn't supplied to the elevator. Well, why the fuck not? Alright, I'll, I'll just come back. So, yeah, I'll figure it out. There must be something else. Uh, there must be something somewhere else that I have to push.
Whoa, still those creatures in here. Yeah, take that, bitch. Magnum rounds. Uh. Ah, here we go. What's this? Power panel. Some areas do not have power. Will you activate the blacked out areas? Yes. Okay. Now I think I need to run back to that ele that, that uh, generator room. All right, cut back to the. Oh, it's, the game's too loud in my headphones, so I I can't hear myself talk if I don't have a uh, one of the ears off, basically. Okay. Okay, it looks like I didn't need to go back in here, so that's stupid. So I hit the trigger in here first, and then I... Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, but the game is so loud that I, I can't... I can't hear myself think. Or talk. So I don't want to yell into the microphone so I can hear myself over the headphones. I think this is the door I wanted to exit out of. There we go, at least that generator he sounds gone. Mother of Lord. Um there's power to that generator. Um I'm gonna go back real quick and enter the code, the last code for the door. So I think I want to do that now, if I remember correctly. Um, so I'm going to cut to that real quick. Okay, so we got that. I can't remember now. I can't remember if this... Let's try it. Jill? Is that you, Jill? Oh, Chris, you're alive! My god! Of course. Damn it, we're in quite a predicament, Jill. I know, Chris. Anyway, I have to open this room. It doesn't work. Well, Chris, I'll be sure to come back and help you soon. Will you wait here? What Thanks. else? What other choice does he have? What other choice does he have? Okay, so I was kind of right. So I remember this is kind of how you get the versus the good or the bad ending. Um, that door does not unlock. Jesus Christ. Will you wait here for me to come back for you? Mother of Lord. All right, um, I'm gonna cut back to the room we were in and head down that elevator. Okay, so uh, I got my bazooka back out because that's the only thing I really have any bullets for. There's no reaction, there's no power. Oh, please tell me God, no. Just switch, will you push it? Yes, there we go. All right. Jill! Barry, my God, it's Barry. I was looking for you. Yeah, I bet you were. Barry. Jerry. Jill, don't be angry. I wanted you to wait for me. Barry, don't screw up again like you did when you dropped that rope. Yeah, remember? Barry dropped the rope last time. Wesker? You did a fine job, Barry. 
just as I thought. And why'd you get in the elevator with him? Away from Barry, Jill. I hear that his wife and two daughters will be in danger if he doesn't do everything I tell him to. You are so cruel. Well, you don't have to worry about anything, because you'll be free from this world very soon, Jill. Why do you have to destroy stars? That's Umbrella's intention. This laboratory has been engaging in dangerous experiments, and recently an accident has occurred. The music's so loud anyway, you can't barely hear him talk. This disaster cannot be made public. Can't be made public. So That's like. why having stars nosing about is so inconvenient. <laughs> the so acting you're is a so slave bad. Of umbrella now, along with these virus monsters. Along with these virus monsters. Me, to me, the monsters you mentioned mean nothing. I'm going to burn all of them together with this entire laboratory. I must complete my mission as ordered by Umbrella. Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. Barry! You sack of shit, Barry! Barry's such a fool. He'll be under the control of Umbrella forever. How come both Umbrella and you can intimidate him by taking his family as hostages? Uh, Umbrella? because family's important, well, man. Well, I intimidated him, but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. I just used him for my personal purposes. Yeah, but personal. Both you and Barry seemed to think I was following orders from Umbrella. So you're planning something else? Something more sinister, I bet. In developing the world's most powerful biological weapon, what would you do? What if you were in charge? You must stop I'd this now. Destroy it is what I would do. You're a brave girl, but if I were you, I wouldn't give up such a big discovery. You guys are idiots. No one understands its real value. So you're going to steal all the research? <laughs> the guy like how his sunglasses is just like pixelate and depixelate. Yeah, we are totally at the end of the game right now. So that is the tyrant. He looks like a clown man. Uh. Oh, God, I moved. Tyrant virus is a super virus, which creates a monster which is much stronger than human beings. Tyrant is the most powerful biological weapon in the world. My God. You don't mean you're experimenting on real people? This is really beautiful. All this power will be mine. Mine. For the sake of an awful creature? Don't be upset. All weak people exist to be eaten. Eaten? What's the deal with the exposed heart? Like, that just seems really redundant to me. Look at that. He's beefy, all right. What? Don't come this way. No! Well, oh, he's fucked in the ass. Probably should have saved. It can't control what it does. Oh. No, 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 no. Gotta run over. I gotta pick up what Wesker dropped. I don't even do I have any healing items on me? What do I do? Well, I don't even know what this is. Oh, it's the lab key, probably to get the smurf out of here. Oh, what the shit, I just wasted a bunch of bullets. What a miserable death. Okay, okay, what a miserable death, I read it. 
Uh, okay, looks like the control device for the room. Found the door, lock switch, open the door. Okay. Is there anything else actually in here that I can actually use or get? I don't think there is. I think it's all just machines. Alright, time to get the smurf out of here. Gotta get the smurf out! Let's see, check this key. Nothing really on it. It's specially coded and looks important. Master key. Master key. This should unlock Chris's, um... Uh, Chris's cage? Chris's cage. Chris's cage. Cage Chris? Help! So, um, I'm going to save real quick. Alright. I've saved. I'm loaded up. Armed to the teeth with bazooka rounds of flames and acids. Ah! That scared me so bad. Okay. Okay. Ah! Fuck, we gotta rescue fucking Chris. God. Those things. Do I have any bullets? I have one bullet left in this magnum. You've used the master key. <sighs> oh, Jill! Sorry for keeping you waiting. So, everything is done? Well, almost, yes. Now let's go. We got to get the shit out of here. What if I can go back in there? Can I go back in there? Yes, I can go back in there. I'm gonna look in that room, see if there's anything special. Special? Nothing important around here. Nothing important around here. Really? Oh, I wanna do Okay. Nothing special in that room, it's just an empty room. The bed. And nothing important around here. Okay. Come on, Chris. Let's GTFO. Let's go! A creature might be out there. A creature. Creature? Yeah, right in the face, bitch! Fuck you! Eat a bag of dicks! Although now I don't have any magnum rounds. Man, regular zombs! Regular zom zoms? I don't want to waste my... Ah, what a disappointment. Waste my bullets. So this one I might be able to run around. Yeah, there we go. Maybe. Nope. God damn it. God damn it. Couldn't fucking see where the goddamn door was. Bullshit. Hey. Jill! He's a fucking traitor, Chris. Hi, Jill. It's you. Barry? I'm really embarrassed to see you now. Yeah, I bet. It's your damn traitor. Go, go quickly. It's over, Barry. Wesker's dead. Yeah, dead like a bitch. Dead like a bitch. Jill, will you do me a favor? No. This is my last... Wish. No, you are coming with us. Please give this photo to my family. Will you? Sure. For 
Forgive me, Jill. I don't remember him dying. I could have swore like he lived. My God! Ah, the voice acting kind of ruins it a little bit. My God, that's worse than no. Um. Race mm. picture. Something is written on the back of the picture. To my dearest Marie and Polly, I hope you will grow up to be strong and beautiful women and help cheer up your mother. Dang it. No, oh, that Let's sucks. Get going, Chris. We can't stop. Can I take your gun, Barry? I can't take his gun. I want his gun. Um, okay, so I can put this away because I don't have any bullets for it. I don't have anything else to heal myself with. Okay. Oh, that sucks. I could have swore Barry lived. Like, I don't remember him dying. I wonder if there's a way you can get him... Uh, I wonder if there's a way you can get him to live. Shit, I am in caution. Yeah, get rid of that key. And there we go. I have only one healing item now. Brad. Running out of fuel. If there is anyone alive, contact me now, okay? This is your last one. Battery. Okay. to play nice guy. Okay, I leave it up to you. See you again at the heliport. Look at that. Oh, bye! Uh, hope you have a good time with a fucking giant mutant zombie monster. Ah, flare, yeah. Need some flare action. Pew! Like, oh, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Land you dirt bag. Uh Okay. Cinematic, maybe. Voodoo. Dada. Bibi. Doo-doo. Uh look up. That's a mighty fine find there, Brad. Wait, is that just the end? What? I totally thought I had to fight the tyrant again. No, you have to fight the t- Because the tyrant bursts through the roof. Maybe if you have Chris, maybe he kills it. These were great live-action cutscenes. It's a shame that they look so fuzzy on my screen. That's crazy. So I totally thought that the tyrant came back. I wonder... They don't even put last names on the actress. 
I was, well, I wonder if, like, if I don't save Chris... If I don't save Chris, maybe, uh... Barry's rescued and I do have to fight the creature the second time or something. Um, crazy, okay. So I thought there was going to be a little more of a, a bigger uh, climax there. That was kind of lackluster. That kind of sucks. I was really expecting to fight the tyrant again. Um, the, for those who haven't played uh, the original Resident Evil here, like you get, uh, like you shoot him a few times, and then Brad throws a rocket launcher from the helicopter. Um, and I distinctly remember the line: "He says, Jill, Jill, kill that monster. You're an Amazon, Jill." And he throws out this rocket launcher, and you pick up. It's a massive rocket launcher, you just shoot this giant rocket and it explodes the time and it everywhere. And then you watch the mansion explode as you fly away. Um, but yeah. Alright then. Um, it looks like that ends the original Resident Evil. From the PlayStation 1 days. Um... Very cool. I had a good time enjoying playing this game. I know not a lot of you actually watched it. Um, so. Um, but if you liked it, um, please comment on the videos and, and uh, hit the like button because um, I'll know what to play more for you guys. Oh, there's another little cinematic scene. Is it still alive? See, it's still alive. We didn't kill it. Uh, we didn't kill it. Still alive. Total playtime, 66 hours and about 18 minutes. Number of saves, 20. Probably would I had less saves had I just played through it. Okay. That's going to be the end. Um, pretty sure I've said it already, but thank you guys so much for watching. And if you liked it, hit the like button and please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And until next time, be kind to each other, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheryl? Where could you be? It's strange. It's quiet. Too quiet. This place is like a ghost town. Cheryl?